Good morning, guys. Today I am back for another political chit chat. It's been a couple weeks since I did my last one, but I thought I would just share with you guys some thoughts on the newest Republican um, 2016 nominee. And of course, that is none other than Dr. Ben Carson. If you guys saw his speech this weekend, and um, some of his ads, he really seems to be coming out strong. And I think a lot of people are excited about that. Um, he, you know, made his political debut, I guess you could say, at the National Prayer Breakfast speech when he pretty much laid out that he also has an idea for health care that would work a lot better than the Obamacare that we currently have now. So I think a lot of people I know are already supporting him. I think he overall is a really great guy. He, you know, we see his life as a young boy in, you know, pretty much the wrong side of Detroit growing up. But his mother um, like he says over and over again, really believed in him and pushed him and he made his way to be a pediatric neurosurgeon. So he definitely has a lot going for him. So the fact that he chose Detroit to is no shock to any of us, obviously born and raised in Detroit. He really has a heart for the people there. He currently resides in Florida. He's married. He is retired from being a neurosurgeon. He, I believe, probably with almost everything that he believes in, I'm a little concerned as to who he has kind of made friends with. I'm from Ohio, so he has, I guess, endorsed Rob Portman. Not a huge fan of him, and most Ohioans I don't think are. The thing about Ben Carson is that he still believes in the American dream, which is kind of a huge thing right now. Like he said um, in his speech that a lot of people find it easier to be on welfare than to actually go out and work and pay their own way. And I think that, you know, that is the case. There are a lot of people who are misusing the system. There are a lot of people who actually need the system. But I think that that's important because he is going to push the American dream. And he obviously is a great example of his own life, of him pursuing the American dream from you know, the inner city Detroit and working his way up. And that is, I think, important. And I think he is hoping that a lot of people can relate to his story. And he thinks that education and healthcare obviously need reforms, um, our fiscal situation. I know during his speech, he also talked about some of the unrest that's going on throughout the United States, whether it be Ferguson and the most recent Baltimore. Overall, great guy. He is, I think, very smart. Obviously, he loves the Lord, and I think, you know, he's going to go before the Lord in prayer over every situation, and I think that a lot of people are going to be excited for him. I think he has a good, good chance. Obviously, not as much of a chance since there are so many people kind of jumping into the Republican poll. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he does on, you know, debates in the future and to see where his support comes from and, you know, kind of who decides to go with Ben Carson over all of the other ones that we have running. So I think that if he does, you know, run and get to be the top, I think it'll be interesting to see also who he picks as vice president. I think that'll be a key role. I think um, we need a president and a vice president who make a good team. So I am excited to see where that leads. So I hope you guys enjoyed this political chit chat. If you have um, comments, concerns, question about Ben Carson that I did not answer, please feel free to leave them and I will try and answer those for you. And I will see you guys at my next political chit chat.